Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be going over this grasshopper script that allows you to make a flower of life pattern, kind of like the one that I have on uh, my logo. So as you can see here, I started with a basic circle. And what I did was create a slider. Um, that way I can adjust the radius of that circle. Now that circle is going to be subdivided a number of six times and that's because that's typically the pattern that um, that's the number of divisions of a hexagon which is the typical pattern of the, the flower of life. So I just right click there and I set an integer of six. And this is a component that I'm going to be using over and over again. So um, yeah, so I won't want to add a slider and I just wanted to keep it that way. So now I use those points and I use a new circle that I create and I use those points as the center points of the circle. So now we have that seed of life pattern which is kind of the beginning of the flower of life pattern and this is just a basic and simple way to do it I'm sure that there's a way easier way to to make a, a pattern like this uh, by using a slider to kind of expand out but this is the way I, I was able to figure it out so I'm basically gonna do the same function over again so I'm just gonna co I copy that over and I use those center points that I create with so I just subdivide those new circles with all those points and then I try to see if I plug it back in for it to work but now it doesn't work that way you have to keep going um, ahead so I go ahead and create new circles and those circles are going to be created in that same center point and they all have that same they all share that same initial radius. So they're all, all the circles that we create are going to be plugged into there. And then I decided to, so that was the first one, second one, and we're going to go into one more level up. And so, as you can see, it's a matter of taking those circles again and ca and uh, creating the, creating the, the six divisions of those circles. So you'll see what I did. So one of the tricks that I do is I slide and then I hold, I think it's shift to make a copy. So here we go. Those circles are going to be divided and I don't have it previewed, but I know that those points are going to be all over the circles that we just created. So let's make a new circle. I'm gonna use the, and I'm going to use these points. Um, and that's where those circles are going to be created and they're all going to share that same radius. And then there's this component called call. Um, this one, I learned it from someone else. I watched a video where they they showed that where they, when they plug in all of the overlapping geometries, you can you can somehow create kind of those points in between. And so that that's the reason why I did that because if I just select the points that I've subdivided, there's going to be so many copies of the there's going to be overlapping copies so this is one way that I was able to get those points to be just one set of points um, and so as you can see I can slide up and down the, and the whole pattern adjust with the with just one, one slider and then here I went ahead and created a pipe just to see the effect that it would create but Honestly, I've been, I'm a little tired of just using pipes, so I went ahead and created, went ahead after this, I did something else, but I feel like this, you can, there's so many options, this looks really cool too.
and so here I went back and I'm like okay I can adjust that but I'm gonna try to do an offset so this this few uh, next steps are gonna be when I offset the initial curve but instead of going offsetting out which I did there I need to I create a negative here that way instead of offsetting out I'm offsetting it because I want to eventually subtract the inner uh, circle from the outside circle so we can play around with that slider or you know and so in, in this portion I, I skipped a step and all I did was I extruded those circles and I capped them um, that way I could then difference them so that's all I did there I extruded it in the Z direction a uh, small amount and I have the out the inner ones and the outside ones right now only the inner ones are uh, being previewed so as you can see we have both of them previewed we keep the outside one and the inside one we subtract this is one of those um, where you can see that the top um, wire is dashed and the bottom one solid so you want to get them both to be dashed by uh, grafting both of them and that will give you the result that you want which is kind of like a you know like a thickness uh, thickness to a to a circle but not necessarily just a pipe And so you can see here that if we change the offset, we it increases. And I feel like this looks really nice for someone that can do like some jewelry or someone that wants to mess around with that. So um, let's see here. So it's grouped there, and we and we have these points that we created earlier. And then at those exact points we're going to create a sphere with a radius of 12 so as you can see it creates an interesting effect if you put just just putting basic geometries in you know at the at the intersecting points and seeing seeing what it creates and look it, I think it creates a pretty interesting effect so we have the rings and we have the spheres so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the spheres from the rings that way it, it creates a clean connection because right now they're all overlapping and they're it's when you try to do a union it's not going to work so this is a way that I kind of work around that and you'll see what I mean so now we have a set of difference rings and a set of uh, spheres which I like to group together that way when you bake it it's all put together unless you want to put them in, in uh, different materials which you certainly can so I hide those and as you can see we have a clean connection and we can change the slider it takes a little bit of time but it looks it looks clean and it creates a clean connection so my next step was to create a uh, bake so just bake it leave the geometry there and then do some rendering to see what it would look like if if it had some materials on it so I do realize that um, the flower of life technically should have two circles around it uh, but for the simplicity of this uh, exercise I just wanted to create that and so if you do create the ring around it the two rings around it let me know if you do uh, and yeah have fun with the script I'll, I'll make sure to add the links uh, for you to download it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, this rendering I feel like it's looking pretty good it's not too not too bad I'm using V-Ray and that's a uh, gold material and thank you very much for watching